today, Mark Kirk became the second Republican senator to change his position on gay marriage. The senator said today that life comes down to who you love and who loves you back. Government has no place in the middle. But most Republican leaders have been resisting the message of change that younger voters in both parties are telling them uh, to follow in the polls. Joining me now is Stuart Stevens, manager of Mitt Romney's 2012 presidential campaign and a contributor to the Daily Beast. Stuart, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, what about gay marriage? Uh, it seems that the party is not, party leaders at least, with a very few exceptions, are not moving in the direction of what seems to be the growing, almost overwhelming sentiment around the country, particularly well, younger I, generations. Well, first, I, mean, I think we have to say, you know, 200 hours ago or so, Hillary Clinton hadn't announced that she was for gay marriage. Um, the 2008 Democratic platform that uh, Barack Obama ran on was not for gay marriage. So I think it's good to take a step back and look at where the country is on this and where people are thinking about it, looking into their hearts and coming to a decision. I think to try to divide this between political lines um, is, is really the wrong way to go. And um, it's clearly not a party issue um, when you have uh, Hillary Clinton following Rob Portman. But isn't it a think, civil rights issue? I don't think people, I don't think people look, are looking at it as an R&D issue. But it, it will be that in the political season. Isn't it a civil rights issue? You have leaders like John Lewis who argued against DOMA back uh, when it was approved. He was one of 17 House members who voted against it. And he calls it the civil rights issue of our generation. Let me play. Well, I, I think it's, um, first of all, I mean, I, uh, who, who can, how can you not but have the greatest respect for the congressman? But uh, I think that one has to be careful about pushing it to these extremes because, as I said, I mean, in 2008, the platform of the Democratic uh, Party was not for gay marriage. So to say that this is a litmus test on civil rights when four years ago the Democratic Party was against it, I think it's just not productive in the discussion. Um, but if, that's, Stuart, if that's the case... Four years, it, four years down that, the road, should the Republican Party, as it revisits where it needs to move and how to, how to reach out to a broader number of people in the electorate, shouldn't the Republican Party show some leadership here, too? I think, I think the Republican Party, you have Rob Portman came out, you have another senator today. I think that this is really up for individuals across the country to look at, to think about, and I think it's a very much a family issue very much a kitchen table issue, and that, that's where this is going to be, it's generated from. You have different states that are looking at this, and I think that it's, it's just not helpful to try to make this a hyper-political issue. And that's really why I wrote this piece, because I think to the degree that we try to, try to score political points on it, I think that it, it downgrades the discussion, and I think it makes makes it more difficult for people to really talk to each other. And if ever there was an issue uh, uh, that people need to talk to each other, be able to have conversations about it, it would be something of this nature. But if you believe that it is a civil rights issue, if someone believes that, then it is an issue, a question of morality. It's not a question of politics. So to remain silent and not take a stand is to really uh, defy a, a moral imperative. So, so two weeks ago, Hillary Clinton was on the wrong side to the, the defendant the civil rights issue of our time. Well, I just, I just find that, I just find that a hard case to make. Um, and, and a year and a half ago, Barack Obama was on the wrong side of the defendant the civil rights issue of our time. I just think that those are uh, well, really you, that's you, a very difficult case to make. You can I argue that Hillary Clinton did not endorse gay marriage. Uh, Obviously, she was part of the administration, her husband's administration, that signed DOMA into law. But in every step, in every act that she took at the State Department, in terms of uh, partnership rights and spousal rights for foreign service officers, she extended benefits. She did things in her job that were possible under the law uh, to the I extent of her job. I, I, I think that's admirable. Look, I just think that when you try to turn on a dime and say that something that both parties uh, were not for four years ago is suddenly become a uh, litmus test civil rights issue. I just don't think that that's productive. I think that it doesn't help people talk to each other, it doesn't help people be able to draw conclusions. I think that we're, people have to come to look at this issue, 
look in their hearts, talk to their neighbors, talk to family members. And I think where this issue is now is clearly not going to be where it is in, in six months, where it is here. Um, and I, I think we need to allow people to have that time to discuss it. And, and you know, as the president's the one who used to use the language evolving, and he used that language for four years. Um, and clearly this is an issue that's evolving in a lot of people's minds. Stuart Stevens will have to leave it there. Thank you very much. And we'll be